Okay, this is a random video of me just kind of going morose and wanting to talk about these this whole peripheral thing about the hardcore games that are coming out and that are already out. Like the I guess I'll I guess I'll start with Sony with the whole PlayStation Move thing. Uh personally, I I think it's an okay device. It works fine. I've tried it. I played it. It's fun. It works, but it just this whole peripheral thing just seems it just I don't know it's just for the, for the move for the move what I'm talking about is that it basically is what they are trying to do is kind of like the whole Wii mode thing you know you point at the screen and you press a button do whatever it's bas it's essentially a Wii mode but looks more phallic clearly but it just it doesn't it's, it's did we really need it the funny thing is they they now have it whether you can use it on the PS4 when when that comes out, and Media Molecule Media Molecules already have their plans to use it as I, I'm not really really sure from what I saw from the preview. It looks like some kind of a sculpting game. They haven't really sh they haven't really got into it yet, but the I, I I just I just don't understand why do we need these things. I mean, okay, now I'll talk about the Kinect. The Kinect, I, I, from what I've seen from people who did their LPs, it n never worked for them. They either they didn't have it positioned right, or it, or the person's too small or too tall, or it it is strictly meant. It's pretty much a dancing peripheral. I mean, it's, if you see a lot of the games, a lot of them re revolve around you doing a lot of the dancing shit. I guess it works well, but. You can't just have a fucking peripheral for dancing. You gotta have more than that. The move is capable of... You, they've used it in first-person shooters. But the question is... Do you really want to? Well, of course not. You don't want to fucking use it for a first-person shooter game. That's like a fucking handicap. Why would you handicap yourself in a game? I've tried it in Killzone. It works, but... It's trying to adapt to you flailing your arms around in a game, you want to have more steady control of a controller. No one I know fucking uses the move controller. <laughs> it's pretty much for bragging rights. Ah, I kicked your ass with a move controller, loser. I, I've never really heard that. And now, uh... Which is... Oh, let's talk about the controllers. The How the new uh, PlayStation 4 controllers will be... What, from what I've seen on when they were displaying it, they displayed that it has a touchpad what would have been cool to have on the touchpad would be a little LED screen where you, it would probably have your inventory and you could probably press on it like let's say if it's some kind of game where you could just sw quickly switch to it you like just look on the controller bam there you go you got your item or whatever and from what I could tell it just looks like it's a touch screen I don't know I don't know if they're gonna have more to it kinda like it's just, and they also they've really mired on it but they have a share button which is which I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's connected to when you can record your footage for for the whole thing. I'm not even sure how that works. I wonder if they're going to be so you can uh, record your footage onto the hard drive. And I wonder if you could transfer it to a computer and edit it or do whatever you want with it. Or it's just strictly live on their PSN. I'm not even sure. A lot of people aren't really sure if the tr the whole trophy system can transfer from the PS3 to the PS4, but I saw clearly in one of the videos that the person had one of, one of the persons I think it was on the on the video which which this was unveiled the PS4 is that uh, it showed that they had 24 trophies. Now, 24 platinums. How the fuck could you have 24 platinums within? Uh, what watchdogs knack that's it at least the games they're not even completed so they wouldn't have a trophy system so clearly you could be able to transfer your trophies over to the ps4 server which they pretty much displayed on screen when they showed the menu and uh oh yeah yeah the xbox is peripheral well this the xbox they don't they've been real rather hush about it they're about to reveal it and i'm ready to talk about it but the uh they have presented something called the Illumin Room, or something. I, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but... Essentially, what it is, is kind of like a projector. It projects, like, on-screen HUDs onto your wall. Now, 
This I have a lot of problems with. If it were to work, would it work right? If you were to have, let's say, your HUD on a wall outside of the screen, hence outside of the game, how well would it show? And what's what's the purpose of having this whole thing hey, kitten, uh, to take you out of the game and just kind of... To me, it just seems like it would be distracting. No matter how subtle it would be, it would be pretty distracting if you were to... If you were to have something like that in the background, I'm just really curious about that. I'm not really sure how they're, what plans they could have for this. I mean, I guess it could make you seem more immersed, but come on. You don't need to have snowflakes falling in the background to get immersed into a game. <laughs> I just want to hope that uh, the consoles will not be like how the Xbox has been. I mean, everyone's complaining that they haven't seen what the PlayStation 4 looks like. I don't know, I guess they want concrete proof that the games will work on it by seeing it. I don't know, it just... For me, it doesn't really... I don't really care. I don't really care what it looks like. It could look like crap. It could look like a pile of dog crap. And uh, as long as it played the games fine, I'd love it. People are like, oh, we want to see the console. Ugh, the thing that sucked about it, they didn't fucking show the console. Jeez, a fucking riot. I, I just amazed how some people just go get so get so flipped out about something so minor. But we're gonna probably see it eventually when E3 rolls around, and maybe the Xbox will be unveiled, and they'll they'll gush, they'll gush and show everything about it. Oh, look what we got, PlayStation. We got. A Luma room, and that's that's it. <laughs> I I don't know. Apparently the Xbox will have. There's apparently when it comes to specs, I I'm really bad with specs. I don't know what what it will how. Apparently the PlayStation could have eight times more than what the PlayStation Three had, and uh, and the Xbox is supposedly supposed to have something like. What was it? Four times? They actually really underlined how much inferior the specs will be to the PlayStation. But we'll wait. We'll wait and see. I would like to thank VTS Productions for allowing me to post this video, this vlog of meat gushing, and uh, well, see you next time.